This document is going to give some tips for drawing digital circuits. In general, how you draw a circuit can determine how easy it is to debug. So here, for example, is a typical sum of products circuit. It has three inputs and two outputs. Each output is a sum, shown by the OR gate, of products, shown by the AND gates, of the inputs and their inverses. So, we can start drawing the inputs at the top left and draw wires that go across the page, like this. For each input, we can add inverters and again add wires that go all across the page. So then to make a product term, we can drop down wires from each of these inputs into an AND gate. If we need inverses, then again we can drop down from the inverses as well. A lot of products will contain some inputs and their inverses as well. So, keep doing this until you've created all of the required product terms. Once you've got all of the product terms, then you can add up the ones as necessary for each of the outputs. You can then go ahead and label each of the outputs. Keep doing that until you're done. Sometimes, the same logical term shows up in the equation for multiple outputs. This makes drawing the circuit easier. Here is a repeated term. You notice that you only need to create the product term once, but you can use it as many times as you need by having wires go from that one output to as many sums as you need. Occasionally, you'll need a certain number of inputs to a gate, but there isn't a gate in the library with that number of inputs. This isn't a problem if there is a gate that has more than that number of inputs. So for instance, here is an OR gate with three inputs. Suppose you only need two. Well, if you tie one of those inputs to one of the other inputs, then you will have effectively a two-input gate. So whether this gate is an AND or an OR, tying two inputs together will be the same as a single input because when you AND, something with itself, you get the same thing, and when you OR something with itself, you get the same thing.